Well, hello, peoples. You'll have to excuse the uh, the mess on my desk. I think there has to be a great reckoning happening. Ugh. Oh, here, but we have a box. Um, I tried out the, or not tried out. We, we all know I've already tried out Unplugged, and I think it's a pretty cool box. But they were having a pretty, um, they were having a really good theme, which, unfortunately, I don't remember what the theme is. <laughs> How dumb is that? Uh, I don't even remember the items in here, except for, like, one thing. Actually, these guys really don't give away much as, as far as spoilers go and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, let's just like crack on and crack in it, shall we? As I move more, more things. My poor desk. It's now gotten to be the same levels as, as the rest of the home office. So I guess I'll be busy tonight. Anyway. All right. So, uh, let's see. We have something vacuum packed and floofy. I think this is the item that I remember <sighs> that I remember it is. It's not a bad smell, but and I think this is gonna make one of my if it's the item I remember it is, or that I think I remember it is. Um, it's going to make, make one of my friends very, very jealous. So, it is the thing I remembered it is. Um, cause, and you guys can't even see it right now. But that's because I'm unfolding it so I can show you guys. So hold on, let me... All right, so it is the thing I remember it is. It is a giant reading blanket. However, it is not the fandom I thought it was going to be. And that's okay. That's totally okay. I honestly don't even recognize what the fandom is supposed to be right off the bat. I mean, we got a guy in a tux and a chicken. A giant ball gown with a cape. And then, like... I don't know, stairs or something? I thought the blanket was supposed to be Lord of the Rings. And that's why I was like, oh, my friends are going to be so jealous. Because they have done a whole lot of their house in Lord of the Rings. But, okay, hold on. There we go. Y'all don't need to, to see the rest of the house. So, I mean, we'll find out what the fandom is for the blanket when we look at the card. Uh, which would be right here. We'll look at that at the end. So... Alright. Let's see what else we got in this in this mess. We got there we go. A little bit better. Autumn Lily or Autumn Tally Brotch. Glazed caramel cake spiced wine warm oak. Oh, it's a candle. Lichen and limestone. Ooh. Oh that Oh, that, um, that spiced wine scent really comes through. Mmm, so is the caramel. Wow, that smells fantastic. I may just have to put this on the warmer. I mean, it does have, as you can see, it's got a wooden wick, which is great, except I live in a, I rent, I don't own yet, and uh, so I can't really burn candles in here. Um, my lease would not like me very much for it. Sorry. I apologize. I had to finish off my Pepsi. I didn't have to. I wanted to. There's a difference. Alright. And then we've got... Alexandrian Society Lip Scrub Books and Cinnamon. So, let's see. I mean, I, I think I've got like three lip scrubs at the moment, but you can never have too many. Oh, that, man, that is an interesting smell. It, 
I'm not picking up so much like books and cinnamon. It smells almost, well, I mean the cinnamon is coming through, but it smells almost like, it's going to sound weird, but it smells kind of like a floral French toast. <laughs> Which I know, that doesn't make any sense, but try and picture it, and then, you know, you'll be there. So, and then mini pumpkin potpourri, pumpkin cinnamon and books, supposedly. That, you know, I'm not, I'm usually not one for pumpkin stuff. Well, let me change that. I'm not one for pumpkin spice. I don't, <laughs> I don't like the taste of it. And then it got to be everywhere, like, like glitter, <laughs> like, like herpes. And I just, no, we ain't doing it. But this actually smells really nice. I would be, I would put this downstairs, actually, on my dining room table. I think I've got an extra drawer. Um, so we have an autograph card from the author Rebecca Taylor. And she kind of gave us the book title, but you know, we'll, we'll hold off. Just just a second. We got other things. Okay, so then we also ooh, an exclusive magnetic bookmark. I can never have too many bookmarks. How do I know? Because anytime I find really cute packaging, I'm like, oh, this would probably make for a cute bookmark, and then I end up creating bookmarks. So I have a whole pencil case just full of nothing but various bookmarks. So and then I don't know what this is, but apparently it's something made in China. And covered in bubble wrap. It's kind of heavy, too. Are these coasters? I'm going to laugh if they are. They are coasters. Looking forward will be better than looking back. Oh, that's funny. Does the other one say the same thing? Strange, isn't it? To love a book. Oh, well, part of our coaster came off, but I like these. These are cute. I'm gonna put them in the pack, back in the packaging, just for a moment, because um, we all know how this goes. Kate shows you all the things, and then while she cleans and figures out where she's gonna put things, we put it back in the box, back in the packaging. But I do really love these. These are so cute. Um, and they feel like real stone. So, and now we finally get the book. So, and the book. If I can get to it with, without destroying. So we know it's a title by Rebecca Taylor. The Secret Next Door. Uh, yeah, so this is kind of a, I don't want to say a psycho thriller. Um, well, hey, there you go. And it's set in Denver, so kind of nearby me. Um, yeah, so let's see, Gossip. Psychological suspense. Ooh. Could be a good one to curl up with. Possibly pun intended. Okay, I'm just checking the box to make sure there's nothing else in there that we forgot. So, okay, so then we've got Rebecca's, actually, sticker autograph. So, at some point, I will put that book plate in there. Um, and then let's see what the card says. Dear reader, I wanted to say hello and let you know how excited I am for the opportunity to place my new book, The Secret Next Door, in this month's Unplugged book box. 
The emphasis on self-care, unplugging, and living in the moment are all intentions I too have tried to embrace this more this past year. Personally, I have made some huge life, life changes in the past six months, and finding the time to nurture my whole self has become a priority. My wish is for this box to help you find some joy and take some space for yourself. I'm so honored to be a small part of that for you. Um, let's see. Not that I don't want to read this whole thing to you guys, but I'm holding it up close enough to the, <laughs> to the screen to my phone that you could probably just pause the... Uh, the video and read it um so yeah but it is a very nice note of course and she said it in colorado because of the mountains who doesn't set a book in colorado because of the mountains <laughs> and just ask stephen king <laughs> so okay so here we go uh adult fiction november 2001 cozy night whole reason I thought this looked interesting so how that see now I just feel silly that I didn't recognize the blanket but that's because it's kind of a it's never really been a story I've been <laughs> I've really paid attention to I'm I'm aware of it and I know parts of it uh, but yeah so it's a phantom of the opera blanket so I know one half of that married friends couple of mine are going to be extremely jealous. She might try and steal it from me. So, uh, yeah. Phantom of the Opera Blanket. I'm not mad at it. It's still comfy as, as heck. I mean, just as I was unfolding, I'm like, wow, this thing is soft. Um, and then we've got, sorry. I'm going to take this part down because I need to read it. So then the coasters are from uh, the Night Circus and the Starless Sea. Uh, I'm willing to bet the Starless Sea is the second one because the first one had the circus tents on it. So, um, And both those books are written by Aaron Morgenstern. Actually, I think I have Night Circus here somewhere in the house and I it's probably one of those unfortunate novels that I just haven't gotten a chance to read yet. And as I say that, I'm looking at my hardcover, my, my bookshelf full of nothing but hardcover books, and I'm staring straight at it. Yeah, I'm, I may have to fix that. I may have to read that book this um, in the next couple of months. Uh, and then we've got Mini Pumpkin Potpourri. Uh, do, 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 do. Made by... Pet Richer Inc. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we've got an Outlander candle. Oh, that's what it's... <laughs> I'm laughing, not because I'm like, oh, that's what it is. But um, the smell of it, I mean, granted, it's by Lichen and Limestone. That should have been a hint to me, but... <laughs> What I didn't say earlier, you know, I was like, oh, that's, uh, the caramel's really coming through, the spice wine's really coming through. But in my brain, I went, wow, this smells really Highlander. <laughs> How about Outlander instead? Cozy up like it's the 18th century with Claire and Jamie and enjoy a hearty meal at Lollybrook. This Outlander-inspired candle is made by lichen and limestone. So, Yeah. <laughs> And then the lip scrub is inspired by uh, the gorgeous and cozy dark academia book by Olive uh, or Olive e. Blake. Um, the Atlas Six is the name of the book. Um, and then the bookmark's a bookmark. It's it's whatever. Okay, so then the Secret Next Door is our book. Get Cozy with This Dark and Twisty Tale by Rebecca Taylor. It's difficult not to sink into its pages. We hope you love it. It's released on November 9th. So, tomorrow. Um, and then we've got the photo challenge. Post it to Instagram. Tag to artists and businesses. Unplugged. I don't have Instagram. I have no intention of getting an Instagram. Because uh, I don't want to. I mean, I do and I don't. I, I'm not huge 
about social media. You know, I do things like, like Facebook so I can keep in touch with my cousins, that kind of thing. And I already have a Twitter, I have two Twitter accounts. I have a personal one and an industry one. Um, so I can follow all my, the industry one is for work stuff. And then and the personal one is so I can do all the things like, hey, hash, do the contest and hashtag, you know, Marvel, Oreos, Pokemon, whatever. And then uh, so I can enter contests and get free stuff. So, but now everyone's moving to Instagram. I don't want to go to Instagram. Ugh. Anyway. Oh, well. Uh, but it's for a chance to win a free box. I could kind of go for that. Um, and that's got a bunch of <laughs> photo challenge ideas. So, like, you know, full unboxing posts, beverage and coasters, candle, blah, mini pumpkins, you know, do the things. Uh, there's also cozy journal prompts. What advice would you give your younger self knowing what you know now? Nothing. Because butterfly effect. Because I really like who I am. Well, okay, I'm, I'm content with who I am. How's that? And if I gave my younger self advice, I wouldn't go th through the same things. I'd be a very different person. Um, if your employer gave you a month-long paid sabbatical, what would you do and where would you go? Dude, that'd be amazing. Uh, probably far, far away. And I'll tell you when I get back. <laughs> um, let's see. There's a recipe in here for apple cider mule. Um which I love. I love my mules. I do. I'm not picky. Mules are mules. Do I have all the stuff here? Vodka, lime, apple cider. Hey, what do you know? I have all the ingredients already here in the house. I'm not sure what that says about me, but, um, and then the December adult sneak peek is revenge and rebirth. Um, now, I did not order the December box, that one in particular. What I did order, though, uh, was they are doing a Christmas box. So, and it's got two novels in there. And, you know, it's kind of like Christmas, uh, cozy nights plus Christmas, essentially. Um, so I did do that. And that will be coming, I think, end of the month, something like that. Uh, what else do I have for you guys? I do have two of my advent calendars. You can't really see them, but they're underneath the desk. Uh, one is the FabFitFun 12 Days of FabFitFun. Um, and the other one is You Are the Revolution advent calendar. So it's 24 days of cosmetics. Um, and then... Which, if you guys want to see those, actually, I probably will show you the FabFitFun one because I do do FabFitFun. However, that one will be at the very end because I'm not opening it up till December 12th. And I do only open one door a day. That's just the way I am. Um, I did also get a wine advent calendar, 12 days of wine, but y'all don't really care about that, so I'm not going to show it to you. So, okay, so we have this box. So what else is coming out this month? Well, we still haven't gotten the September Marvel Gear and Goods box. That's supposed to ship out here, like, um, soonish. Mid-November is what the website says. Still haven't gotten Hello Kitty. Which, now I'm just... I'm giving up on it. I just want a refund for that one at this point. This, this is ridiculous. Um... Uh, uh, oh, we've got, uh, Funko coming at the end of the month, and that's going to be Eternal themed. I did go see the movie this weekend. It wasn't bad. Um, it has a lot to unpack plot-wise, and the story pacing didn't feel like a movie. It felt more like binge watching a, a mini series like if you were gonna binge watch WandaVision or or uh, no actually what I what did I tell I told my buddy it was like binge watching Falcon and Winter Soldier 
because there was a lot going on, but the pacing didn't quite match a two hour movie. So it wasn't bad though. I will say that it wasn't bad. Um, I will be adding it to my Marvel collection, my Marvel movie collection anyway. Uh, so we do have that coming and then, and then, and then, and then, is that really it for, no, it's not really it. Um, because Segoy Mart got me again. That sounds horrible to say, and it, it's not that it's horrible to say, but I did order something from them. Another lucky bag. Uh, but this one is, it's not Sanrio, it's, hold on, I'm pulling it up right now. So I just ordered down the third, so it should be shipping out here in the next few days. And I did add a few things for me, myself, and I. Um, oh, the Segoy Mart Halloween Lucky Bag. It was 30 bucks. We all know I'm kind of a sucker for Halloween stuff. And then I ordered some extra sweets for my stuff to, for myself too. And some Starbucks. Um, so yeah, so we got that and that, I mean, really honestly, guys, that's, that's really about it until Loot Crate kind of gets their, their stuff in a group. Um, we're going to be waiting for a while for that stuff. I don't think I'm going to continue with with Loot Crate next year just because I'm getting to the point of how much stuff do I really need and also they're really ticking me off at the moment. Um, I don't know if we're going to try out any more or, or new boxes, new subscription boxes. I love them. I do. That's a lot of stuff to kind of keep track of in my house. I feel like I need to downsize a little bit, but you know, we'll, we'll keep you in the loop for that, but all right, 22 minutes. I've rambled long enough and, and kept you guys from food and drink or just relaxing, what have you. And my food and drink are waiting for me. It's been a very long day at the office. So I will just see you guys when I see you, hopefully in the next, um, in the next couple of weeks and we'll see what comes of it. So, Bye.